Hi everyone, I'm Linda Loveland with this week's NC Farm Bureau Report. NC State's College of Agriculture and Life Sciences named its new dean. It's Dr. Gary Fox. Dr. Fox joined NC State in 2017 as a professor and head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. Congratulations to Dr. Fox. The USDA announced $125 million in new grant options for expanding meat and poultry processing capabilities. Part of the grant program will support meat and poultry processors with smaller scale projects. USDA also has $75 million available for growers transitioning to organic farming. The Natural Resources Conservation Service will release state-specific deadlines later this year. Producers can apply through NRCS at their local USDA service center. The weather is warming up, and that means it's almost mosquito season and time to protect your horses. Ag Commissioner Steve Troxler is encouraging equine owners to get their animals vaccinated against eastern equine encephalomyelitis and West Nile virus. The first predictions are out for the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. Experts think it could be slightly below average in activity. The initial forecast is calling for 13 named storms, six of which will turn into hurricanes, and two of those hurricanes being major. And there's still time to respond to the 2022 Census of Agriculture. The census allows producers to tell the story of U.S. agriculture. The response has been low, meaning agriculture will have a lower representation. You can respond online or by mail. We'll have a link with this post. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another NC Farm Bureau report.